in the previous video we talked about uh, token bucket algorithm uh, we understood the core concept of that algorithm in this video we will be going to implement that in express uh, we can implement it in better ways using external libraries but uh, in this we will not use any kind of external libraries we will just stick to logic we will all implement everything by ourselves and we will just try to understand the algorithm in better way and uh, if you do not know express you can still watch the video because the logic will remain same and uh, c++ code will be provided in the comment section and um, for uh, better experience you can watch this video in 2x or you can switch according to your uh, preference but uh, i'll suggest you to increase the speed for better productivity so uh, this is the basic express setup and uh, in this uh, we are running this server on port 4000 so basically there is a route named like and on this route um, a message is served a json is served and uh, inside this json a message is served which is telling that post liked surface successfully now uh, you have to understand it like this this route is like clicking the like button and this json serving is like actually implementing the like functionality behind the scene in the in the back end so when you click the like button a lot of things happen inside the back end right so because uh, the database is updated and uh, such things are done so uh, imagine this route is like clicking the like button and this is like uh, doing functionality in the back end so this server is running on the port 4000 so uh, this is uh, port 4000 and uh, if we will if we will go to uh, the route like we will see the post liked successfully which is just like implementing a like functionality but there is a problem uh, any number of times we will press the like button so uh, if we if i'm refreshing it's just like making another request to the server and it is just like pressing the like button so as much as i'm pressing the uh, refresh button the like button or the refresh button in this case uh, the post like successful will will always be there that means I can like any number of posts in a second so as a human I cannot do more but uh, some uh, bad guys can install some bots which can like lakhs of posts in a second and that is bad for our system it can make our system systems life hard so to prevent that we have to implement the rate limiter so uh, what is happening in this case is there is a like functionality there is a like implementation as soon as i'm uh, we are pressing the like functionality basically we are routing to this route this functionality is executed there is no rate limiter in between so uh, in this case we have implemented the rate limiter now i'll explain how it is getting executed again this is the basic express setup and we are running it on port 3000 so like previous case uh, this is the live functionality uh, this is the uh, this is the like button consider it as a like button uh, consider this as a like functionality and in previous case there was no rate limiter that means we could have uh, pressed the like button as many times in a second as we want so we can uh, implement some bots that can uh, execute that like buttons li lacks of time uh, hundreds and thousands of times so that is not good for the system so to prevent that we have rate limiter middleware so this rate limiter middleware sits in between this like button 
and this functionality of like actually this is not button I am again and again telling this is a route and this is uh, the uh, on this route what will be served it is that but uh, just to understand uh, the concept of token bucket just think of it as a like button and this is the functionality of like and in between there is a rate limit middleware so now how this rate limit middleware is uh, executed let us see so uh, first we have token remaining that is how many tokens are the remaining that is uh, as we have already seen we had a bucket and in bucket there were some tokens so how many tokens are remaining in that bucket this variable is telling and uh, what is the initial value it is equal to token per interval which is 5 so as we want to implement a functionality where we can do only 5 likes per second so 5 will be the token remaining this is the initial value this is the last refill time when is the last refill done so this is done just now so we will do date dot now and what is the interval interval tells us after how many time after how much time we have to refill this token so as we have already seen we have a token bucket in that token bucket we had some tokens and after some interval of time that token used to get refilled to the top so in this case after 1000 seconds that token bucket will be refilled with 5 tokens so again I am explaining this is token remaining the number of tokens in the bucket which is equal to 5 initially interval tells after how many times the token remaining will be refilled yeah. so now uh, we are inside the rate limiter so inside the rate limiter we have to uh, implement two functionality and that's it the first functionality is we have to refill the bucket so inside this we have uh, I have written uh, refill the bucket logic and uh, the second thing that we have to do is if token is available allow the like else discard so as we have already seen that the like request will only reach the server if there is available token in the bucket token is like a pass uh, a password for that like thing like request if it will not have a token it will not be able to reach to the server so token is required so if token is available we will allow the like else we will discard the like this logic is inside this so let us see how this is done so uh, as I have already told we have to refill the bucket after every second in our case it can be anything but in our case after every second we have to fill five tokens in our bucket so uh, they, uh, we ha I have implemented it like this um, this is current time and time elapsed time elapsed is equal to current time minus rate uh, last refill time so if you will subtract this current time by last refill time we will get is one second have passed or not if one second has elapsed or not since the last refill time till now one second has completed or not if it will be completed it will be more than interval so if current time is minus last refill time will be greater than interval interval is thousand uh, in our case thousand means thousand millisecond we have to write in uh, time in terms of millisecond so if uh, there is thousand that means one second so if time elapsed is more than one second you have to implement the refill the bucket logic and how you will refill the bucket so the token remaining this is the token remaining that is the number of token that is remaining in the bucket will be equal to token per interval and that will be five so uh, you will just fill the bucket with five tokens and last remaining time will be the current time last refill time will be the current time and uh, if token is uh, so now um, like functionality is uh, so now if I'm if someone is pressing the like button 
we have to decide if we have to pass this like button to the server or not so it will only pass as i've already told many times that it will only pass to the server if token remaining is greater than zero because we need one token for every request so if token remaining is greater than zero we will use the token but it means by using the token is token minus minus and after using that token we'll do next what next means is go to the next thing basically we'll press the like button read limiter and if it says next we'll go to the next part and this like functionality is implemented this next simply means read limiter go to the next part so we went to the next part and implemented this thing but if token remaining is not greater than zero that means there are no tokens available and since there are no tokens available we have used all the tokens now we have to wait for the interval and as um, after the interval there will be refill thing that will happen and after that refill thing we will get a uh, token again and uh, after getting token after getting token only then we will be able to move uh, do more likes this is how uh, the token bucket is implemented now let us see in practic practice so uh, in the earlier case as much uh, so uh, I'm uh, pressing refresh button here refresh is just like making a request so in our case uh, it is just like making a like request so in localhost 4000 like uh, this this was the localhost 4000 uh, in which there was no rate limiter so you can see post like successfully every time even if I'll make lots of requests in a second still post like successfully but uh, in this case localhost 3000 so to explain this uh, I'll just multiply it with uh, 60 so this is equal to, so 1000 millisecond means one second and if I'll multiply it with 60 that means one minute so after interval of one minute five tokens will be refilled so basically I can only do um, five likes in a minute uh, this I've increased just to show you with example so that means I can only do five likes in a minute so one like two like three like four like five like and now if I do you can see rate limit exceeded so now this is error you can see and you are not reaching it to the server now you will have to wait for one minute so after one minute uh, this uh, so after one minute tokens will be refilled and since you will have token you can make like request and that like request will be fulfilled so just wait for uh, 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 just wait for one minute and you can see after one after one minute is passed uh, post like successfully again one two three four five and six again rate limit exceeded so that's all for the video thanks